So we're here with Rabbi Moshe Druin from SoFair On Site. How are you doing, Rabbi? Oh, we're doing great as every day we are. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Thank you so much for all your help with Czech Memorial Scroll Number 420. My members are so grateful to you good, good, and good. to SoFair On Site. So, um, I, I, um, I've been hearing just on the news that there is actually a market for stolen Torah scrolls. Right. And Unfortunately, that is very true. It's hard to believe, and I'm wondering just how do you fence a Torah? How do you launder a stolen Torah? Well, actually, the one place where this is taking place primarily is on the web, whereby congregations are losing the Torahs, either, whether by outright theft, but more so is by walking in to a congregation and informing them that their Torah is not kosher and, and it'll cost too much to fix and therefore let us come in, we'll bury it for you. And then they may take it down and try to go ahead and sell it to the congregation down the street. But often when it comes onto the website, people will see incredible deals available online. And often we get the calls from a third party saying, listen, we're speaking to someone and you know they're, they're showing a good a good price and it's a good product and, and he's telling us some beautiful story about where it came from. Rabbi Drew, and do you mind speaking just to verify the story? So the one particular story that comes to mind is I have a lady on the phone and the guy in Israel on the phone and he's telling me that he gets his Torahs from a local place in South Africa, one of the small outlying congregations there and he's the one who's been in charge of taking these scrolls and selling them on the web. To his bad luck, I lived in South Africa for 12 years, and I just happened to know the person who's in charge of all the outlying congregations. Amazing. So I pick up the phone Amazing. to my friend Moshe Zilbrahap in South Africa, and I say, Hello, Moshe, do you know of a, a Torah being sold from this and this congregation? He said, No, nothing happened. They're still sitting there. I said, Mr. Seller in Israel, you're not telling the truth. Within two seconds, the phone hangs up, that Torah was taken off the web. It's not there to be found. So if you're looking for a Torah, the one place you shouldn't look is on the web. It's online. It's and online. once again, if something seems too good to be true, it, it probably is. is. There you go. Rabbi Truman, thank you so My much. Pleasure. You're such a mention. We're really good. grateful for you talking Enjoy. to us today.